Okay, so we are beginning our online international education fair and the webinar is about to start. I can see we have about 100 students. I want to thank you for joining us today. I hope this is going to be a useful information when you're going to be attending till the end of the webinar. You will be able to learn about the scholarships, application fee waivers, the COVID-19 updates and many more. So watch till the end and ask any question that you have. I hope it's going to be worth. Thanks. My name is Shreya and I'm representing DePaul University in Chicago, US. We are a part of the study group consortium of universities. So let me begin introducing DePaul University to you because it offers a fantastic varieties of courses and programs that might interest students in India at the moment. So DePaul University is located in Chicago. The overall ranking of the university is 125. The overall ranking of the university is 125 as per US News and World Report. Um, being in Chicago, we've got two campuses. One is the city campus, which is the Loop campus, and we have a campus which is known as the Lincoln campus, which is a traditional campus and it's a little bit further away from Chicago main downtown. So the overall ranking is 125 and we are also ranked as 59 best value schools as per year 2020. Um, we are popularly known for games design, business programs, as well as programs in health and science and so on. We were founded in uh, around um, 1898, so we are a very old university. Uh, Deepol University competes with UIC, which is University of Illinois Chicago. However, DePaul ranking is quite higher and thus we're a little bit stronger when it comes to that. We cater to around 20,000 plus students and the student faculty ratio that we have is 15 is to one. The Lincoln campus, which is the of uh, the traditional campus is around eight kilometers from CBD. However, the Loop campus is located inside in the city. So these are some of our business rank uh, program rankings. Business is ranked at 90. We've got accounting program at 56. We've also got the computer science program at 147, game design program at 34 and so on. So just, just a gist of what our university um, has to offer. I've already covered this, so I'm gonna keep moving on. Uh, this is a little bit of the Chicago city. It's a very vibrant and a very colorful city with a lot of uh, activities to keep our students busy. This is the, uh, um, the, the traditional campus, which is the Lincoln campus, you can see the city in the background and it also has access to a train station. So commuting to any of our campuses isn't an issue or a problem. We do have um, a vibrant culture around DePaul, both the campuses, and there are lots and lots of um, international students as well as you have the uh, Indian market around. So it's, it's no issues for you to get your Indian groceries and so on. Um, let me cover some of the programs that we offer at our university. So we have the College of Business where we, so we offer both direct entry as well as pathway programs across all our schools. Um, and we also offer a lot of bachelor degrees and master's degrees. So popular programs that I'm gonna be covering you here for today under the College of Business is, uh, we have the Business Analytics program, which is the master's. It's a STEM designated program. Apart from this, we also have the master's in finance, which is also a STEM designated program. Uh, we do offer the MBA, which is very popular. We do have actuarial science, accountancy, hospitality leadership, management, marketing, and so on. Uh, so accountancy, bachelor's, and master's is a very strong foothold on. We do have an MBA program. Currently for fall 2020, we are not asking for any GRE or GMAT scores under the School of Business uh, due to the COVID-19 situation. So, but our other schools uh, will require GRE, GMAT. However, we'll only ask for these scores from you once you are ready to come on campus. We are offering programs uh, online. We are going live for our fall intake. However, um, when you are going online for uh, for fall intake for the School of Business, we don't need GRE GMAT as of now. So you can feel free to apply. Um, also, we have the MS Finance, 
the marketing, the School of Hospitality Leadership. Uh, we do have a bachelor's in hospitality leadership program, which includes an internship. Uh, the master's program does not include an internship. Our bachelor's programs don't need SAT. Let me highlight that for you. Uh, some of the master's programs do need GRE GMAT, but we'll only look at that once we have your application come through in and once you're ready to come on campus. Um, this is the College of Computing and Digital Media. Uh, we have the Masters of Computer Science as well as the Bachelors of Computer Science. However, the Masters of Computer Science is a STEM designated program. Uh, we do have Bachelors as well as Masters of Cybersecurity, out of which the Masters of Cybersecurity is a STEM designated program. Um, you can also see we offer a program in compu human computer interaction, information systems, information technology, math and computer science, network engineering, and security. These are some of our very popular programs that students do tend to choose from. Um, we do have a game designing program. So we have a bachelor's and a, ma and a master's of game designing. This is again a very popular program for our students. Um, under the College of Health and Science, we offer applied mathematics, applied statistics. These are both master's degrees. We do have a master's in biological sciences, chemistry, and we offer a fantastic clinical psychology program as well as a community psychology program. Under the College of Communication and College of Education, these are some of the popular degrees listed here. However, I would just like to bring your attention to the Masters of Communication and Media, which is also very popular amongst the Indian students. We do offer College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences. Um, so instead, in case if you're interested in um, studies that are creative writing and publishing or criminology or political science, yes, we do have even public health over here. Um, under the School of Music and Theatre, um, our popular programs do include uh, costume design, we do have music education, and we have theatre arts. We do offer College of Law, we have a two-year JD for international lawyers, and we also cover law degrees under health, intellectual property, international law, and taxation. We do offer direct entry as well as um, pathway programs. However, I will be talking to you about the direct entry requirement. So for undergraduate, direct entry is IELTS 6.5. We do accept PTE scores and we do have a TOEFL score of 80. The GPA needed for a direct entry into the undergraduate program is 2.75 or you can calculate it as per 60% of the Indian University um, awarding Indian students. For the master's program, our um, entry requirements differ. So you will see that uh, certain degrees are asking for an IELTS of six, while certain degrees are asking for an IELTS of even 7.5. So uh, most of our bachelor's, uh, I'm sorry, our master's of business degrees ask for a 6.5 of IELTS. However, any technical subject, for example, MS in ma applied math or MS in applied statistics, or MS in uh, chemistry asks for a 6.5 to 7.5 range. And the GPA that we're asking for is around uh, 2.75 or three. So for technical degrees, we, we usually would prefer a GPA of three, which is at least a 65%. However, if you do have an, um, your, or your profile or an applicant, which is um, having a little bit lesser to that GPA, we can look at that on an individual basis. This is our campus classroom. So you can see it's 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 a very um, um, the classroom is is very is very small. We do have small class sizes, uh, but the student faculty ratio is 15 is to one. So we have a lot of individual attention that's going on in there. These are just some of the um, uh, testimonials from students from Lithuania, China, Colombia, and so on. Um, we do have a lot of amenities. We have on-campus uh, gymnasiums, libraries, labs. Uh, we do have uh, workout centers. We have music practice rooms, etc. cetera. Uh, we do have a lot of on-campus clubs and so on. Our dining is, is, is quite uh, uh, international. We have cuisines ranging from Indian to Chinese to Italian, continental, and so on. Um, of course, we do have a um, lot of activities for students. So we've got the photography club, we have sports teams, we have uh, science, nature clubs, etc. cetera. Uh, this is just a picture from the Chicago CBD area. Um, but yes, of course, um, uh, you know, 
our students come from different backgrounds. So to keep them busy, we do offer OPT and CPT. So OPT training is basically offered for STEM approved majors, for example, business analytics, computer science, cybersecurity, supply chain management. Our average median salary that students get is around $75,000 for when, when they pass a computing school and around $50,000 for business graduates. Let's talk about tuition fees. Um, yeah, of course, before I jump to that, I would also like to introduce you to our, our regular uh, campus recruiters. We have companies like um, Heinz, IBM, GE, Deloitte, as well as Boeing and Motorola that come down regularly and Accenture that come down regularly on campus for uh, campus recruitments. Um, so this is the direct admission cost uh, when it comes to undergraduate degrees. So for any other program um, that is business, apart any other program apart from music and theater, like business, computing, science, and health science degrees, um, hospitality, the fees is around 41,676. And for the graduate, it varies. So for graduate, our business school is, is costing around uh, 35,464, while our other degrees range between 21,000 to around 28,000 and so on. Of course, we do offer excellent scholarships. So um, for undergraduate direct admissions, we're offering scholarship between 14,000 to $23,000. Of course, it's based on your overall achievement. We don't just evaluate you based on your GPA. Uh, with the graduate admissions, um, it varies uh, between $1,000 to $5,000. Um, this is only for direct admission. Now, let's say if you are a student who does not qualify with your IELTS or a lower GPA that you've scored, then we do have pathway programs. And yes, for those pathway programs, we do offer scholarships as well. Um, of course, it'll be taking into consideration your overall GPA, your LORs, your your uh, uh, IELTS scores, etc., and then we will decide the amount uh, the, that the admission has um, decided to award to you as a student. But it would definitely range anywhere between uh, five thousand to twelve thousand dollars. So um, you can definitely feel free to apply. I'm going to be leaving my uh, email address in the chat box if you need to reach out to me for any questions. And I will now hand it over back to Abhishek from Study Metro. Thank you so much, Abhishek. So this brings us to the end of the webinar. I hope the information that you have gained today is going to be useful for you for up and making an application to the university. If you still have any question or any query about applying to the university, then you contact one of the study metro representative. Thank you so much again for joining this webinar. Have a good one.